Charles, do you know that the city that spans two continents, Asia and Europe? Oh, Meg, you're probably talking about Istanbul, Turkey, home to 14 million people. Do I look good in that photo? What? Have you been to Turkey without us? I'm calling Jerry Springer. You girls would not appreciate historical beautiful buildings like this. And all the amazing street food. Nah, you guys are too health conscious. You guys are way too nice to bargain hard at the Grand Bazaar and get ripped off for sure. Charles, we're gonna prove you wrong. And in this episode, we are going to Istanbul, Turkey. We want to show everyone all the inexpensive must-see attractions. Where to eat, finding and negotiating yeah. bargains, okay, getting around, and staying safe. Behave yourself, little birdie, birdie, birdie. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna go on the down the alley there. People crying. Meg, Maria, let me make up to you guys with a free tour of Istanbul, currently South Turkish Airlines. The tour is called Istanbul in Hours, completely free for Turkish Airline International Transit passengers. Includes transportation and breakfast and lunch and mission to Basilica Sistrin, Tukapuk Palace, Agia Sophia Museum, Ayyub Square, Doma Bace Palace, Minna Turks, and many more. Once again, this is all free. Let me take over. As with going to any foreign country, first and foremost, we need to learn how to stay safe and avoid scams. Overall, Istanbul is a fairly safe place to visit. In recent years, there has been growing incident of men who splash waters on the back of your neck. When you turn, they will try to fight with you as another man tries to rob you. These men tend to carry knives and can be very dangerous. Istanbul is home of three of the biggest sport clubs in Turkey. It is advisable not to wear colors that could unintentionally associate yourself with any of the clubs, especially the color combinations of black and white, blue and yellow, and red and yellow. Now, let's talk about some of those scams to watch out for, like the blue moss scam. Beware of the smiling, friendly chaps who immediately want to be a de facto guide to the mosque and the surroundings. While they are informative about anything related to the mosque, adequate history, Islamic practice, they eventually demand a price for their service. Turkey has the second largest counterfeit market in the world. So, if the deal is too good to be true, it probably is. Fake designer items are common. If you need medicine, be most cautious when it comes to fake prescription drugs on the street. Wow. And don't forget about counterfeit the Turkish currency, the Liras. And don't forget to carry some US dollars. There's a visa entry fee for citizens of many countries. But at least we have special guests to welcome you to Turkey and tell you why you should visit this magnificent city. Merhaba, Türkiye hoş geldiniz. It means hello, welcome to Turkey. There are three reasons why you should visit Istanbul. First, it is the perfect combination of Europe and Anatolia. And second, it has served as the capital for four empires throughout human history. Third reason is the food sweets for every kind of taste. Elif, but three of us want to save some money. Is there a place you can recommend? We all like walking. I recommend Sultan Ahmed or the Old City. From here, you can walk to pretty much all Istanbul's historical gems, as well as easily connect to the airport by transit. The best of all, hostels in this area are extremely inexpensive. What makes these accommodations even better is that the majority of hostels comes with complimentary Turkish breakfast. It's obvious Charles isn't going to pay for a romantic limo to take us girls downtown. What's the most inexpensive way to get from the Sultan Ahmed to the airport? Meg, we are on a budget. The easiest the most inexpensive and the fastest way is metro or by tram. You can buy token fare called jetons and for this ride you will need two. We recommend you purchase a prepaid metro card Istanbul card for reduced fares. The operation hours for the metro is 6 a.m. till midnight. That being said, let's go downtown and we can see the description for the cars and the fares. Elif, can you show us the way? Of course. First, you need to take the metro to Zeytinburnu station. Next, with a second token or sufficient balance on your Istanbul card, you'll need to transfer on Zeytinburnu to Sultan Ahmed. You'll immediately notice the famous Blue Mosque when you arrive. Let's start with some free attractions. The gorgeous architecture of the Blue Mosque that is distinctive for its array of cascade domes and six glaring minarets. 
If you like art, you'll want to visit the Istanbul Modern Art Gallery. Through the permanent collection of Turkish paintings and sculptures, upstairs is often overshadowed by the views across the water to Asia and the Old City. The Photography Gallery and Temporary Exhibition Hall downstairs displays innovative work from all around the world. And best of all, it's free on Thursdays. The Doğançay Museum, Turkey's first modern art museum. The collection contains a wide range of media and materials and includes paintings, drawings, sculptures, prints and photography. The admission is free but come between 3 to 5 p.m. when you're treated to complimentary tea. Hey, if you want to brag about being in Asia and Europe on the same day, take the Istanbul ferry to the Asia side of the city. There's a lot less touristy and you'll see more authentic area of the city. It only costs 2 liras or 75 cents, but don't forget to bring some bread and feed the seagulls. But Charles, it's not expensive to take Meg and Maria on a romantic night cruise under the Bosphorus Bridge which connects Europe and Asia. You'll see many beautiful places on the shores and many landmarks along the way, especially at night. Yeah, Charles, don't forget, us girls will love finding the best bargains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is no better place to practice your negotiation skills than at Istanbul's Grand Bazaar, which dates back to 1455. It covers 61 streets, is home to 3,000 shops, and receives over 91 million visitors annually. Wow, that's a lot of shopping! Oh, haven't you bought some love tea and Viagra tea from the Grand Bazaar? Um, we should try them tonight. Whoa, Charles! To get me in love, I'd rather go for a nice dinner. And you know what? It doesn't have to be expensive. There are a lot of restaurants in the smaller streets that offer traditional Turkish food. Let's give it a try. Oh, sure. For few liras, you can get complete dinners such as lamb, beef, and chicken cheese kebab. Not to mention Turkish pizza pide, lakmajan, a flatbread with spiced meat served with fresh veggies and lemon, and guveshe, a stir-fried meat casserole. If you are nice, you'll also receive a Turkish tea on the house. After eating all that delicious food, it's time for us to walk it off and visit the history of my country. So let's visit some museums. I recommend you to buy 3-day museum pass. The pass includes access to my favorite museum, Hagia Sophia Museum, built in 455. It was a former Greek Orthodox Patriarchal Basilica, later an imperial mosque and now a museum. You can also use your museum pass to visit the Top Kapu Palace Museum and Harem Apartments. It is walking distance away. The large palace was the primary royal residence of the Ottoman Sultans for approximately 400 years of their 624 years regime. Don't forget the Istanbul Archaeological Museums. Your pass works there too. Also, the Great Palace Mosaic Museum hosts mosaics used to decorate pavement, dating back possibly to the Byzantine Emperor Justinian. Wow, after an historical marathon like that, I'm gonna need some sweet treats, coffee, and maybe some exotic spices. The perfect place to visit for all of that is the Egyptian Spice Bazaar Market. You'll find the famous Turkish delights. You can also bring home fresh coffee beans and spices from all over the world. Not to mention fresh fish. Charles, you forgot to mention all the tasty street food. Mmm. The most famous is simit. Also, be sure to try balıkekmek, better known as the fish sandwiches. Media dolma, mussels on the half shell, mixed with spicy rice and served with a squeeze of lemon juice, served right out of the tray. Well, Ali, with that much food, we're gonna need to go for another walk. Yes, Meg, you definitely should try to see Minyatürk. It's a miniature park situated at the northeastern shore of Golden Horn. It features significant structures from across Turkey, including Temple of Artemis at Ephesus and the Molesium of Molossus at Halicarnassus. I'm sure your future children will love it. I don't know what that means. Well, Elif, we talked about so many places in Istanbul. Is there any place we missed? Charles, to make it up to Meg and Maria, you guys deserve a romantic night out. Near Taksim Square, you find lots of things women like, western shopping and lots of sweet desserts like rice pudding, baklava and künefe. With all that food, I think I'm gaining so much weight. I have to go into hiding underground by visiting the Basilica Cistern. Hi guys, I'm in Basilica Cistern. 
So here you go. Built in 6th century, it's the largest of several hundred ancient sidrons lie beneath the city of Istanbul. The enlarged sidrons provide water filtration system for the Great Palace of Constantinople and other buildings on the first hill. And continue to provide water to the Turkopo Palace after Ottoman conquests in 1453 and into modern times. If you have any travel related questions for Alif, Maria, Charles, or myself, feel free to ask them in the comment section below and check the description for any cost breakdowns. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel and to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Wait, wait, am I supposed to say that? Too late. Too late. <laughs> Uh, okay, you guys want to come up for some Viagra tea? We're done now, right? Oh my goodness. Men never learn. You're never gonna get it. <laughs> I give up. Is this delicious type? Okay. Uh, and this to, Viagra. This is for in bed and this is what you what do you use? Uh, delicious type from oh, okay. drink. Would, would the girl fall in love with me if I give them love tea? Yeah. yeah. Really? Okay, I got you on camera. This it better be true. Alright, see you. Alright, bought my Viagra tea and my love tea. <laughs>